Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. We are about to go talk to this lady. And I'm not streaming right now. So there you go. Hi Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <sighs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because you do what you say. Please? Okay. I'll take him in the morning. Thank you. Little T-pose there for a second. Getting some stretching done is what he's doing. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I got you. You wanna come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. Yeah. Oh boy. It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. Too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. Her and a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> We'll see. Got fish to catch first. Alright, so this is the most wholesome right quest so far. Alright. Yeah. Alright. This looks as good a spot as any. Sure. Come on, follow me. Please make this easy and fun. Just by the water there? You mean? You show me where, Uncle Arthur. Now first, we need some bait. Uh, cheese? Some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is 
wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. But if you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. I think you've got a bite. Look. Whoop, think I got one. I see. I see. Okay, I like this this little spin the this spin the rod thing. Nice. You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Fishy! Look, Jack, it's a red fin pickerel. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Yeah. Take a break from fishing. I want to make something. Okay. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Uh. Uh. Yeah, let's not leave the kid behind. That's probably unwise. Oh, maybe not, I guess. Sure, he's probably fine. He's what, like five? He's good. He's good. Stick at things, Jack. I know. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur? Got one, Jack. Is it a big one? I don't know. It doesn't look that big. Maybe it is, though. What did we get? We got a bluegill. Used to catch these with my dad this when I was a, a kid. <laughs> Not bad. Um. Is a pound? Can I hold that? Yeah. What's like a reasonable sized fish? Small freshwater fish, quite easily caught. Good baits, cheese, open water. Doesn't tell you what a good size one is. I think a pound fish is pretty decent though. What's this? Total progress, one caught. Okay. So a bluegill seems good. I just don't know. I don't know if it's enough. Keep it. A pound bluegill. A big, big fish. Big enough. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. Yeah, I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. Try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Hmm. Huh. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. There we go. Get him! Oh my god. god! You'll see. It's a surprise. What did I get here? Chain pickerel. I feel like a pound's too small. Let's throw that back. Hey, look at this. The what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan, Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case, orphan street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. 
Agent Milton. Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency. Seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Uh -huh. Bring in Vanderlyn. Yeah. You have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Bam, right there. No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Should have shot them. Could have shot them, too. I don't like it here anymore. Taking me back? You have upset the small child, and now I must kill you all. Yep. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men. And I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. So did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. This necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, um, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Well, you followed back here. No, they know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now?
I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I probably can get a camp upgrade right now. I don't know how much money we got, but I'd like to check it out. So you, you saw Pinkerton's, did you? Saw, met, and got the full message. And what did you think? I think we're in real trouble, but the only way out is forward. I know. That Blackwater business seems to have finished us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good morning, Arthur. It's bad and it's Mr. Matthews getting worse. Items. I have to actually like go around to give How's these back, so I might as well just dump them all. Six hundred dollars. I got a lot of money right now. I should go pay off my bounty. find some sure I'll buy you some hair pomade sure all right okay boy let's go That's a lot of money right now I want to go pay off this bounty where is that at can I pay off the bounty anywhere in between these two points doesn't look much like it. Marston's over there. Yeah, we gotta pay that bounty off. What's that? Fence. Uh, you know, it actually works out that I want to do both of that, so we'll uh, we'll go that way. Milton and Ross are from the first game. Those guys are scum. Though I think they were actually government agents last time. We saw them, not Pinkertons. Hey there, mister. Didn't even say hello back. We should kill him. I wish it gave you a distance. Like, here's how far you have to go. Because then you could watch the number tick down and it would be kind of a little less boring. The rain's coming, huh? Good. 
darkness. So we're going to sell all the stuff we've taken off bodies, which should clear up my backpack quite a bit. I don't think I've... I don't think I've sold anything in a long time. If I can pick up a wagon on the way, then more the better. Quick rainstorm. Oh look, it even left the ground wet. Now that's clever. Again, attention to detail is what this game does best. Some of the mechanics are damn stupid, but... Attention to detail, they do it well here. Pay my debt to society real quick. Howdy. tickets? Oh, wow. I can go straight to St. Dennis. I'm gonna be using that. St. Dennis, I bet, has better weapons. I bet different weapons are sold in different places, and I bet they have better ones. So old Bob Crawford was livid about his coach getting robbed. I was very sympathetic. You are a good cousin by marriage, Seamus. Oh, I try. Now, anyway, I trust this ain't just a social call. Oh, bombs? Now you're talking. Never know when I'm gonna need three things of bombs. Oh, I didn't even pick up my tomahawk. <laughs> you never know when those are going to come in handy. Oh, I'm full up. Alright, let's, um... Let's sell a bunch of my crap. Finally. Money! Oh my god! I want to keep that pen. This has been a long time coming. Oh, good lord. Okay. You're back. Go on, have yourself a quick nosy. After a little tchotchke, are we? Okay. What is this? Oh, Jesus. Let's buy some stuff from you. What do you got? Weapons, huh? Big beans. Alright. Predator bait, huh? Lock breaker. Yeah, that seems good. Corbate masks. Metal skull mask? That sounds pretty cool. Documents. Homing tomahawk. Special bitters. Okay. Mm, maybe more dynamite. Maybe not. Predator bait. Eh. Never know no, when that's gonna easy. come in handy. Thanks, partner. Nice. There we go. We're bought up with quite a bit of good stuff there now. I 
no more bounty. And I ended up with more money than I started with. I gotta start selling stuff more fast. More fast. Yeah. I'm good without getting the extra bounty that I just paid off. <clears throat> well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. We can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides. What do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened yeah. by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. <laughs> and where are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. Oh. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. This yeah. is going to end terribly. Let's go earn some money. Yep. Hey. All the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. Get back on the road. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, it picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so it shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I'm in. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a break. Ha ha ha. Ah, you're a funny fella, John Marston. And my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. They're left here, towards Rhodes. Oh, so I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. 
Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Shaw McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> You know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. No, this again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. Yep. So, we got the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast. Take charitable donations and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Shoot your mouth. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yep. I like that. We don't have to kill anybody. I don't want to kill anybody. Mr. Marsh. Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, ha! Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. I need to get up there. Finish up here and join us on board. All right. Hey, get on that train. It's faster. All yours, Captain. So go on ahead. Ah! Everybody stay calm and let the guardians get shot. This is go. unnecessary. Everything you got. Money, valuable. This is unnecessary, please. There you go. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. Can move the stove out. Please. I'm not a bad man. I ain't got nothing. You want to have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Can't perform well. It ain't worth dying over. Tell him, Mr. M. Money. Hey. Don't do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Okay, Come on. okay, in the bag, God everything you got. Keep it coming, don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. Thank you. Am I losing I'm losing honor for that shit? But I'm wait. Why am I losing honor for robbing these people? Go ahead and look for the baggage uh, car. Fuck us. Huh? You sure about that? Will you show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around here. Why are you wasting our time, huh? Quick, come on. Come on, partner. Come on, quick. Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Money do now. Son of a bitch. Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay. None of you folks move a muscle. You hear me? What is it? You all right? Fill the baggage car. Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? 
Manual painting. That's what I want. Out well. This time I'll look and you provide the cover. Try my best, brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Hurry. Right. Oh, oh, I'm gonna have a right old lump on me head. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Austin, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither of you get killed. Goddamn liberals. Eh? There's a few more of them torn enough. <sighs> Man, my big mouth. Okay. Let's deal with them. Left! out of the red, which is great. We'll outrun them. Not where I'm going right now. Okay. I think we're in the. Whoa! Whoa! Ho -ho! <laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, yeah, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Total take 1500, gang share, my share, not bad. Yeah. 
that's gonna be John heading to, uh... Where in the hell am I? Oh, I'm near St. Dennis. Well, I have a $50 bounty there. Good, 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 good. Uh, let's go to the post office in St. Dennis. Go ahead and clear my bounty out. I just made $200, so really I made 150 What do we got for horses? Cocaine gum. Enjoy. Oh, that was for me. Whoops. Let's get some more horse stuff. Easy now. Let's get some horse stuff. You did real good. <laughs> yep. We should be very close to St. Dennis. Very close. There we go. A minute of your time. Let's get us a closer look at this one here. Work, gentlemen. Good boy. It's all right, boy. <laughs> Give me my freaking repeater. Thank you. Oh, I can study my own horse. Oh, I probably should do that. Yeah, there we go. Pat the horse. Good horse, bro. There, boy. There. Be a happy horse. Now give me all your stuff, you damn losers. I turn that wagon in, too. from turning that wagon in. Eh, not really that far, but far enough that I'm not doing it. Yep. Effects are real nice in this game. Real nice. Competition. You a shooting man? I've been looking for a challenge and I ain't found one yet. What'd you say? Oh. Why don't we find out? Good. Whoever shoots the most bottles wins. Okay? All right. All right. Stand alongside me. As soon as you pull your weapon and aim, we let fly. Mm hmm. Look at Loki, he's so cute. I need to change that manual painting setting controls, maybe? I don't know, uh, 
how do I turn on the general, maybe? I want to change Deadeye to be not manual painting, because I don't know how to make that do a thing. Yeah, whatever. Oh, good. Maybe R1. you were just outgunned. I ain't happy with that, not one bit. What do you say we raise the stakes a little? You're on. Well, that's what I like to hear. What do I got in there? Okay. Items. First off. Where's that? That's what we want. About this. You shoot four birds out of the sky before me, we'll call it a day. All right, rules are simple. We're doing first to four. You can count to four, I hope. Stand close. As soon as you see them, start shooting. Wait for it. There they go now. Shoot. Wow. You got a damn good shot, mister. Here you go. As promised. I'll take it, sure. Thanks, friend. Careful now. Next time I may not hold back. Sure. I just had to waste two items to make that happen, though. Come on. I grab those animals. Oh well. There's St. Dennis. I'm gonna pay off the bounty, which is cheap. Pick up the wanted poster and uh, see if they have any good guns for sale. Dennis. Oof. That is a flammable little uh, bit of water there. I thought I heard an alligator or a crocodile. I think it's probably an alligator. I don't know if we have crocodiles naturally in the U.S. Maybe we do. I don't know. Yeah, this is definitely different. Just a moment. Glad to see you on the up and up. Hmm? Yes? Bye. All right, paid. Now we go for the gun shop. Right there. And then immediately following that, the bounty posters. I 
I want to go down the alleys. Oh, I'm not going to get anywhere, am I? Hey, hey you! You ain't supposed to be here. Hey, stop messing with them. Come on, I'm only teasing you. Yeah, yeah, that's what I. Oh, fuck you're not allowed glad here. I'll give you the beat when you're looking for. You don't want to fight me, kids. Too bad. I was looking forward to a fight. Get out of my shot. Feels big, huh? Ragging on a kid. Get a load of this room. Yeah, I'd kill all of you in a fight, just so you know. But whatever. That's a pretty horse. Good morning. Smith, huh? This one? Looks like. What do you got here? Welcome to Kao Chow. I don't think I've seen you here before. What do you got? Do you have anything different than the other clerk? Let's see what you got. Yeah, you got the cattleman, you got the double action. Yeah, I figured that. Got the Schofield. Oh, Semi-automatic, still locked. Volcanic. I'll take it because it's free. Sure. Uh, sure. I'll take a second one because it's free. Choice. All right, what else you got? Carbine, that's a piece of garbage. Armament rifle. Eh. Eh. I don't know. Doesn't look like he's got anything much different than anybody else. I find that to be... Well... Disappointing. I'm here to help if you need me. Increased capacity for repeatal rifle, shotgun ammo for a, a bunch, actually. Increased pistol and revolver ammo. Fuck, oh, you yeah. don't mess around. Yeah, we'll buy both of them. Finally got the money for it. Cool. Now we're all... Got what I need. All geared up. Got this bandolier now. My, do I have both my freaking volcanics equipped? Hunting down there every day wants to sit. Enough hides to send the kid to school. I tell you, boy, married life ain't what it's made out of. Hey, so game man. Y'all ain't getting no game jump. Come quick, I'll be lame, say. Hey, man. Alrighty then. Over to the bounty poster. You wouldn't miss some teeth. Goddamn lunatic! All right, boy. I'm just it's frightening children. You know, the usual. yourself in so I conclude you're a bounty hunter. May I direct you to the poster on the wall there? Sure. I'll take a look. I look like the John Tyson. That's what we want. So, 
Hundred dollars. Okay. Leader of the Lemoy Raiders. Okay. Dead or alive. Okay. You going right. after Lindsay Waffle? I might be. Or I might just wanna hang his poster up on my wall. Yeah, they're a bad lot, the Lemoyne Raiders. Stupid fellas won't leave good enough alone. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of private militias, you know. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of all of us. Don't tell them I said that. I was a police chief. The bounty. Why are you making this feather someone else's problem? We, sir, are an urban police force. And the Raiders are, well, mostly a rural nuisance. My men simply are not suited for this kind of work. This feller in particular, Wofford, ain't it? Why him? You cut off the head, the body dies. That's the hypothesis, at least. We shall see if it can be demonstrated with the Lamoine Raiders. If the Le bounty's Moine. for this whole outfit, you should have made it more. If that's all, I'll get after him. If your hand is false, then so be it. Hello, gentlemen. Hello there. How there? Yep. 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 Huh? All right. Where are you at? Also, stranger. Locked bar. Think. Taylor. I got some money to burn. What you doing? What's wrong in your head? Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? In a minute, after I get notice, Taylor. Taylor, get out my way, kid. Can I go in this way? Yes, I can. Hello, good to have you. What do you got? Oh, let me see. Oh my lord, here we go. Uh, not that. Hmm. Oh my god. Well, you won't know for sure until you try it on. I can view it. Oh my god. Wow, that's something. That that's something. I'm afraid of whatever that was. What do you got here? People say us tailors all sound the same, but I find that rather offensive. Rifleman's gloves? I don't know. Oh my good god. There's lots of stuff here. Holy shit. Alright, well, we're just gonna leave because it's... Doesn't seem like I get like an actual benefit for it. Seems no like it's just a, at all. a thing I can have. Mind, it'll be here waiting for you. Thanks, Mister. Hello there. I'll only shut up once I can vote. Who's yelling about vote? This girl? Let women vote! It's time to let women vote! I agree. Howdy, ma'am. You, my friend, what do you think about women's suffrage? Women voting? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you, sir. You are a true progressive. Anyone dumb enough to want to vote, I say go for it. 
Oh, a cynic. How dull for you. I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Unappealing is what I do best. <sighs> <laughs> Run. We gotta be robbing this place eventually, right? That's gotta be the plan. How far away is this guy? Oh my. Quite a distance. Nice. It looks really nice. It's a pristine white tail buck. Easy, whoa. Let's skin this pristine white tail buck then. You're all right, boy. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, you're just in time. I was just gonna end it right here. I'm gonna put this stuff on the horse, and that's gonna be it for now. I finally got a pristine buck. So let's see if that's worth more than $4. Okay, boy. Let's go. 